Yeah, I mean, you're going to show us something about, like, is it uh, Wi-Fi 6? Or... Wanna shake the ground Wanna break away, let loose I'm tired of waiting Gotta make that move All the neon signs Now they shout to me and you To write our story Wanna shape the Hey everyone, David Bommel coming to you from San Jose. I'm at the DevNet offices. Very happy to introduce you to Adrian. Adrian, you better introduce yourself properly and tell us, you know, DevNet, what do you do here? Perfect, thank you so much, David. First of all, uh, I'd like to thank you for everything you do for the Cisco community and for, for all your followers and that's really appreciated over here. So uh, great thanks on that. So my name is Adrian Iliasiu. I'm with uh, DevNet. I'm an engineer on the team and uh, I'm going to just show you guys around on what things we do here, uh, a couple of demos and then I'll have uh, some of my colleagues show you also what we're doing. Hopefully you find this inspiring. Yeah, I mean you're going to show us something about like is it uh, Wi-Fi 6? Or? It is. So first time ever, right? This is groundbreaking. Nobody has seen this before. So Wi-Fi 6 right here in the DevNet offices. I have here a demo for you. So I have a two Samsung phones. One is Wi-Fi 6 enabled here on the left-hand side. And one is old school uh, 802.11ac. Right? So you can see here we have a 4K video. You see the statistics, there's no drops on the Wi-Fi 6, of course, and then there's going to be quite a number of drops and poor quality on the AC one. So, so what I'm looking at, sorry, what I'm looking at here is the, is the, is the, the new wireless, is that right? It is, yes. Yeah. So Wi-Fi 6, which basically brings wire to the wireless, right? So you have transfer speeds in this case we see here 92 megabits per second so i mean the drops that you've got there you've got like drop frames one out of like 11,000 or something yeah and then this is the old which wireless have we got this here? is 802.11 ac so this would be the a uh, the ax right the new one the wi-fi 6 and then the ac wave 2 here with uh, 28 megabits per second, 73 drops. So it's actually not doing that bad in our tests. Uh, in some cases, it was doing much worse. So, but I mean, there you've got like one out of 12,000. That's amazing. Yeah. And what's the speed here? My eyes aren't that good. What speed are we getting here? So now it's like 103 megabits per second. Wow. And that's compared to here. That's 30 over there. So three, four times we've seen easily you get five times more transfer speed, right? With Wi-Fi 6. And then once you start getting these Wi-Fi 6 chips into laptops, uh, tablets, then you'll really see, you know, the advantages. Because like I said, this is brand new. Only I think Samsung uh, S10 has the Wi-Fi 6 chip in it. But as, you know, companies start putting out laptops and phones and tablets with Wi-Fi 6 chips, you'll be able to take advantage of, of the new technology. So these phones that you've got on the desk here, what, what, what are these? Samsung S10? So these are Samsung's. One is an S10 and one is like an S7. And then the access point that's actually doing everything, it's that one right there. So that's the Cisco Catalyst access point. Um, brand new. Wi-Fi 6 enabled, there's going to be a lot of goodies for developers on this type of uh, access point coming up this year. So you're going to be able to run applications of it on it. You'll be able to get statistics from your clients, like streaming telemetry type of statistics from it. So there's, there's going to be quite some nice goodies coming up for, uh, on the wireless side. So let me just show you also over here the clients, how they're connected to the AP. I have the two clients here, the two phones. Uh, Catalyst 9800 CL wireless controller, so it's the virtual controller, and I see my old client here uh, connected on the AC and then 11AX for the other one. That's pretty much what I had to show you on the Wi-Fi 6 wireless side. Brand new controllers, brand new access points, Wi-Fi 6 enabled. 
a uh, bunch of developer related features coming up with this uh, with these devices do you want to do you want to tell us more about the developer features that are coming or yes yeah, so like i was saying you'll be able to run applications on your access point right so you, you have that option there's going to be also statistics that will be streamed from uh, from the access point in regards to the clients that are connected so this is also a first we've never had this actual wireless statistics from the clients why have they connected to this specific access point what's the uh why are they roaming right when they're switching between access points the signal strength so there's there's a lot of statistics and information that we've never had before they will be able to get access to and then start improving location services uh i mean really the sky's the limit with, with all this new information you can do pretty much things that we haven't thought about yet so what APIs does the is, is, are the APIs on the access point or on the controller so the APIs will be on the controller and will be also integrated with DNA Center so you'll get access to them also through DNA Center REST APIs so that's how you get access to the clients the wireless clients so is it more do you think it's I mean you said like developers will come up with all kinds of cool applications do you see it like more for monitoring or like you can configure the access point through a script, like a Python script or something? Uh, I mean, of course, yeah, monitoring is the easiest one, right? Everybody's doing it, automation, all of that. But then I'm also seeing, personally, I would like to see people improving location services with this, right? Because you get statistics and information from the clients that we've never had, like I said. So I'd like to see some improvements on location-based services coming out of this. And then really, I mean, like I said, sky's the limit. We'd, we'd like to see the community, what they come up with, yeah. because I'm sure there's things that we have no idea, but somebody's out there, you know, is, is thinking about it and would like to see that. And what APIs does it support? Is it like NetConf or REST uh, APIs? So it's REST APIs at the beginning. Um, not sure about NetConf, it's probably coming up, but first release, they're gonna be REST APIs. And when is this available? So this is going to be announced at the end of April. Yeah. So you're getting a, like I said, sneak peek preview over here, first time ever. Uh, we're what well, two weeks away for this from from the actual announcement, and then they'll be able to also be ordered at that time. I think so. You'll be able to place your order at the end of April, 2019. So I mean, in your tests, like you showed us on the phone. The big advantage of Wi-Fi 6 is speed, or is that right? What do you, what so do you think? So there's, there's several advantages with Wi-Fi 6, right? The speed is, of course, one of that's really visible to everybody. But then there's the power saving on the battery of the devices. That's another big advantage, right? So these chips are uh, more power uh, efficient. Yeah. Right, so we have the power, then there's also, we see a lot of utilization, especially with Wi-Fi 6 in IoT environments. So there's a, a lot of new technologies that are involved with Wi-Fi 6 that allow low powered IoT devices to be connected uh, for a long time. There's, there's new features with uh, a sleeping timer specifically for IoT devices. So yeah, power, speed of course, latency. So improved latency pretty much like 5G, right, on the, uh, yeah. on the carrier side. And are you really excited to see what, you know, what people do with this new technology? It sounds of like Of course, it, yeah. of course, yes. And like I said, specifically on location-based yeah. services, because I mean, it's been, people have been struggling to get this uh, wireless-based location accurately, right? So it, it works, it works, but it uh, can always be improved. So Adrian, what kind of applications do you think people will come up with Are they, have you got any examples that you've seen or you guys have worked on david so yeah i mean with wi-fi 6 we're seeing a lot of because of the uh more bandwidth right so the the 802.11 ax brings more bandwidth um, lower latency it brings ofdma technologies for better bandwidth utilization. And there's also on the application side, we've seen adoption, of course, on high definition videos, like we've seen our demo, then on the AR, uh, VR apps, right? So we're seeing hopefully an uptick on that and developers will be able to take advantage of the improved latency and bandwidth, higher bandwidth, to actually deploy AR and VR apps uh, on the end devices. So we're, we're expecting that to, to grow quite a bit. 
Uh, another advantage of Wi-Fi 6 would be the higher density. So in high density environments like stadiums, schools, uh, these new access points are able to, uh, to accommodate much, much higher density of, of clients. It's like all these new technologies, isn't it? I mean, we can think of ideas, but it's the developer community that really comes up with like their own cool, interesting, uh, you know, use cases. Definitely. So we give you the technology, we give you the APIs, and then what you decide to build on top of them, that, that's really up to you. And we try to inspire you with uh, projects like this, right? And we'll see uh, other demos today. So getting the, the community inspired and really would like to see them, what they're going to come up with next. Brilliant. Adrian, thanks so much for sharing. Thanks, and that's brilliant. Thanks. Thank you so much. So why is Wi-Fi 6 better than previous versions of Wi-Fi.